Chapter 35, The Endocrine System. The pituitary gland connects to the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland has two parts, the anterior pituitary, the adenohypophysis, and the posterior pituitary, the neurohypophysis. The thyroid gland is two lobes. It lies below the larynx over the thyroid cartilage, in front and on either side of the trachea. The parathyroid glands are four to six small glands that are located on the posterior of the thyroid gland. The adrenal glands are located in the upper surface of each kidney and composed of the cortex and the medulla. The pancreas is in the upper left abdominal cavity. The beta cells secrete insulin. The alpha cells secrete glucagon. And these are found in the islets of Langerhans. Ovaries are located in the female pelvic cavity. The testes hang suspended in the male scrotum. The pineal gland is in the midbrain. The thymus gland is at the base of the neck in front of the thoracic cavity. The heart is in the mid chest and it functions as an endocrine gland when it secretes the hormones atrial nitriuric peptide ANP and B type nitriuric peptide BNP. When the muscle is stretched, the heart secretes hormones that have a diuretic effect. The endocrine system alters chemical reactions and controls the rate where chemical activities take place within the cells. The hormones secreted change the permeability of the cell membranes and select substances that are transported across the cell membranes. The endocrine hormones activate the mechanism in each cell. Any dysfunction of the pituitary gland will affect one or more of the hormones and their target organs. These are the effects of the hormones from the pituitary gland. There are ACTH, which is adrenocorticotropic hormone, ADH, antidiuretic hormone, FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone, GH is the growth hormone, LH is luteinizing hormone, PRL is prolactin, TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. T3 is the more potent form of the thyroid hormone. T4 is converted to T3 by removing an iodine atom from the T4 molecule. Intake of protein and iodine is needed to synthesize both thyroid hormones. These are the effects of epinephrine and control of its secretions. Parathormone acts on the renal tubules to increase the excretion of phosphorus in the urine and to stimulate the reabsorption of calcium. This also stimulates the production of the active form of vitamin D this enhances calcium absorption in the small intestine. Parathormone also acts on bone, which causes the release of calcium from the bone into the bloodstream. The adrenal glands also secrete small amounts of adrenogenic hormones which have similar effects to those of both male and female sex hormones. Epinephrine prepares the body to meet stress or emergency situation and prevents hypoglycemia. 
Norepinephrine functions as a presser that causes blood vessels to constrict to maintain the blood pressure. The adrenal glands also secrete small amounts of adrenergic hormones, which have similar effects to the female and male sex hormones. Mineralocorticoids affect electrolytes, particularly sodium, potassium, and chloride. The primary mineralocorticoid is aldosterone. This promotes the conversion of water by acting on the kidney to retain sodium in exchange for potassium. Water stays with sodium and potassium is excreted in the urine. Without mineralocorticoids, the person would die within three to seven days because these hormones control the fluid balance, blood volume, cardiac output, exchange of nutrients, and the waste in each cell. The mineralocorticoids affect all chemical processes and glandular functions within the body. Glucocorticoids are essential to metabolic systems for proper use of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The primary glucocorticoid is cortisol or hydrocortisone. Cortisol increases the glucose levels in the blood. Cortisol also helps counteract the inflammatory response. Aldosterone and cortisol are controlled by the adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, the releasing hormone from the hypothalamus, and ACTH is secreted by the anterior pituitary. Metabolism gradually declines around 20 years of age. Hormones that decrease with older age include aldosterone, renin, calcitonin, and growth hormone. Some hormones decrease specifically in women, which is estrogen and prolactin, and in men, it is testosterone. Hormones that may increase with older age include the follicle-stimulating hormone, the luteinizing hormone, norepinephrine, and ADH. Although insulin levels remain unchanged with age, decreased glucose tolerance occurs because of changes in all the cell receptor sites. Older adults experience hypoglycemia quickly and may progress to dangerously low levels of blood glucose before signs and symptoms are obvious. This decreased glucose tolerance because of cell receptor change can place older adults at risk for hyperglycemia in the onset of type 2 diabetes. Thyroid disorders are twice as common in older adults. Hypothyroidism is the most common thyroid disorder especially in older women. The pancreas is an endocrine, which secretes into the bloodstream, and an exocrine, which secretes through a duct to the target tissues. The pancreas's endocrine function is to produce insulin and glucagon. The beta cells are responsible for producing and secreting insulin. Insulin is needed for cells to use glucose as fuel. The alpha cells release glucagon. These stimulate the liver to change glycogen into glucose. A primary endocrine dysfunction is an endocrine gland that is either over secreting or under secreting the hormones. Tumor or hyperplasia of the gland may lead to hypersecretion. Hyposecretion is usually the result of the destruction of the endocrine gland tissue by an inflammatory process or other destructive mechanism that will interfere with normal endocrine functioning. Infection, mechanical damage, or an autoimmune response may cause an inflammatory response in the gland. 
A secondary endocrine dysfunction occurs from factors outside of the gland. Medications, trauma, hormone therapy, or other factors may cause secondary dysfunction. Dysfunction may be temporary or permanent. The endocrine function often returns to normal if the cause of the dysfunction is corrected. Iodine is available in foods grown near the ocean and in seafood. Iodized salt is the major source for most individuals. The thyroid test results are altered by iodine-based contrast media for radiologic studies. Furosemide, heparin, aspirin, and many other medications will also affect a thyroid test. When diagnosing, the hemoglobin A1C level greater than 6.5% is also an indicator of diabetes mellitus. For a glucose tolerance test, the patient is given a specific amount of glucose to evaluate the insulin secretion and the ability to metabolize glucose. An A1C test measures blood glucose over a period of many weeks. Glucose in the bloodstream attaches itself to the hemoglobin A molecule and remains there for the lifespan of the red blood cell. Physicians will use the A1C test results to prescribe adjustments to the patient's treatment program for managing diabetes. Many patients that have endocrine disorders are cared for in outpatient settings. Home care nurses will frequently find that patients with heart disease, neurologic problems, diabetes, or respiratory problems may also have a thyroid problem. Careful assessment by a nurse may uncover a developing endocrine problem. The goals of nursing are to prevent injury, we help maintain fluid and electrolyte balance. We help our patients have successful coping mechanisms. And we teach knowledge of self-care and tolerance of physical activity.